the latest news on Xenoblade Chronicles 2 DLC. Today, Nintendo announced that... Andre here, we're gonna talk about Nintendo's newest release. Very excited to play it and show you guys What uh? What exactly are you doing, Derek? Uh, I'm just uh, adjusting the camera angles. You know, this is a really good free camera on this game. So, what new game did we get from Nintendo? Oh, you're gonna really like it, Donkey Kong, Tropical Freeze. Whoa! Look at this collector package. What are you talking about? That's the game. What? Isn't the Switch game inside here? No. That's the game. It looks old. Well, you know, Donkey Kong, Nintendo, they're it's, really it's behind always, the times. It's always a retread. It's always a retread with Nintendo. It is. Well, I, bet, I better pop this in. I don't think there's something to on. Well, I guess since it's old, it goes on the Wii U. It's a cart, you are. Well, what do I do with it? What do you think? Oh, the Switch! You're right. I don't think it's gonna fit. <laughs> Can you buy me an accessory to use this? Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze is a return to basics for the series, requiring players to use strategy and quick reflexes to play. You know, I'm just really surprised that Nintendo opted to focus so much on the story in this game. The plot just goes everywhere, and it never does what you come to expect from a DK storyline. I was waiting forever for King K. Rule to show up. Yeah, I, I agree. It was actually a bit disappointing to me personally that they ignored the main canon. Where's Dixie Kong? Where's Candy Kong? It's really strange, because in many ways, you've seen this game before, but then you haven't. But also, you have. Actually, I thought the game was a nice change of pace. Uh, who let the Scandinavian guy back in here? John, I thought I told you. People only care about me and Andre. Uh, they, they don't care about you either, Derek. I mean... Andre's the dictator here. I, I, I know where you live, motherfucker. Bummer. Anyway, what actually impressed me with this game was just the sense of adventure. You really feel like an ape man on the journey of a lifetime. You feel like you can do anything a gorilla can. But therein lies the problem, Andre. Maybe they left us too much freedom. Everyone knows we are only allowed to like the DK games when they are linear experience. Uh, I mean, it's no Mario Odyssey, but... Oh, here we go again with the Mario Odyssey sh Truly, this game is the Dark Souls of platformers, and really, Cuphead is just a pretender to the throne. So, Dalek, how would you grade Dank Kang 3 Dawn of Justice? Well, Andre, I have to say, this game... It just, it makes me want to kill myself. It's that bad. Uh, I'll get the gun.